of eight, handed down to Applegate from buccaneers who fought for years for gold doubloons and pieces of eight. Handed down in a pirate's chest, the gold they sailed for east and west, the treasure bright that made men fight, till none were left to bury the chest. So now the gold and pieces of eight all belong to Applegate. The chest is here, but wait. Now, where are those gold doubloons and pieces of eight, pieces of eight, pieces of eight? Today's episode in the mystery of the Applegate treasure, a pirate's chest. Why is it young people have no idea of trespass? What? All boys are the same. No respect for property. Well, we didn't hurt anything digging in your garden. Doesn't make any difference. It's against the law to go snooping where you're not invited. We didn't mean to do it. In this country, not even a policeman can go snooping on private property. Did you know that? Well, did you? Every man's got a right to his own privacy, we say. And I'd bet you'd be pretty mad if I went and rode your bicycle without asking you, wouldn't you? Well, wouldn't you? Please, sir. Aren't you afraid you're gonna cut somebody with that? Uh. Mr. Applegate? Uh? We're sorry we trespassed. We really are. We didn't mean to walk on your lawn. Some people think I'm crazy. <laughs> well, that's a lot of nonsense, of course. Of course. <laughs> now, before you ask me what trespass was... That's your phone, isn't it, Mr. Appleby? Nonsense. Can't be. No one ever phones me at this hour. Yes? Hello. Who is it? Gertrude Hardy? And Gertrude. Last night, everybody in the neighborhood was kept awake till all hours. And where were they? At your house. Well, tonight, I'm all alone again. And since the boys were asking questions about that ridiculous treasure of yours, I... They are? Yes, right here, both of them. Please, Mr. Applegate. Nothing to worry about. I'll send them right home. Tell them what? You tell the boys there's been enough detective foolishness for one night. These boys aren't foolish. Furthermore, my treasure is not ridiculous. What? What's more, I invited your nephews over here. Yes, and asked them not to tell you about it either. So if you think anyone deserves punishment, you speak to me first. Silas, I don't for one minute believe... And don't argue. Good night. He's never invited any boys inside that house in his life. Boy, you sure told her. Yeah. How come you lied like that for us? Huh? And how come all of a sudden you were so nice to us outside? But I've already told you. Because you believe in my doubloons, in the Applegate treasure. You do believe them, don't you? Well, we don't really know much about any treasure, Mr. Applegate. Of course you don't, because there's no one to tell you the truth but me, is there? Come over here. I'll show you. Look, Colonel Nathaniel Applegate, my great-grandfather, he was the one. He was? Who and what? The one who got the gold, of course, from the pirates. He fought with Andrew Jackson in the Battle of New Orleans. Where? New Orleans. The War of 1812. Good heavens, what's the matter with children these days? Haven't you learned yet there's more excitement to be found in one page of real history than there is in a dozen of those comic books? Why, when I was your age... You mean he got the gold? Huh? Oh, oh yes. His fair and square. In payment for damages by Lafitte. Who? Jean Lafitte, the pirate, of course. See that? 
that actually belonged to Lafitte. Our great-grandfather claimed it did. Imagine that. <laughs> A real pirate's dagger. Wow. Of course, I prefer the cutlass myself. For prowlers, that is. Anyway, boys, Lafitte's men burned down part of the family plantation one night. And that honest pirate paid old Nathaniel 3,000 gold doubloons. They were right there in that chest. That's the way they were delivered, and that's the way great-grandfather always wanted them kept. Gee. At 30 or 40 dollars apiece, you can imagine what they're worth today. Can we look? Son, since Lafitte gave the doubloons to Thaniel Applegate, no one but a member of the family has ever been allowed to see our pirate gold. But now, go ahead. It's empty. What happened to them? They were stolen. Ten years ago. Oh, you boys are only babies. You wouldn't remember. Oh, but you should have seen the people digging here then. Everybody in town. Oh, they came running with their greedy shovels, like clam diggers at low tide. Then how come everybody laughs when you mention the Applegate treasure? Because no one ever found any of it, actually. The white people should think the only way to locate missing doubloons is to dig for them. Well, what actually did happen to it, Mr. Applegate? Ah, uh, that's the mystery. I don't know. Golly, after ten years, it doesn't give a detective much to work on. W weren't there any clues or anything? Clues? Huh. For a while, I thought my old gardener had taken them. He and a friend of his had stolen some things down at the rail yard once. But then the police proved that he couldn't have taken my doubloons. Couldn't they find any other suspects? No. And they couldn't find any fingerprints. And they couldn't find out how my house had been entered. And they couldn't find their own noses without a pair of glasses. What? Oh, your father was just as bad as the rest. Every detective who entered the case, you know what they said. They said they didn't believe there ever had been any gold. Golly, if Dad said something like that, he must have had a good reason. Nonsense. Just because I never mentioned my doubloons until after they disappeared? Huh. Tell me the truth now. Huh? Why do you believe in my treasure? Please, you'll tear my shirt. I thought you liked us. I do. But you two know something, don't you? You and that Perry Robinson. You let go of him. And Gertrude thinks we're coming right home. Tell me, where were you digging? Why were you digging? Please. Who started you thinking about treasure? He can't tell you. It's confidential. Be quiet. Confidential? Ho ho! Now we're getting someplace. Well, it is. Uh, but a detective can't go telling his client secrets, can he? Joe, will you keep your... Secrets? What secrets? And when you say client... It's only that owl, isn't it? He's disturbed. He's been restless lately. I used to enjoy his nesting up there in the tower. As soon as we get the pick, we gotta go. Yeah. Come on. Wait, boys. I wouldn't hurt you. But you must realize how upset I've been. After all, it is my treasure, and if you find any of it... Uh, goodbye, Mr. Applegate. Very well. Play your little detective games. But I'm warning you, if it's anyone like that Perry Robinson who's your client, you better look out or you'll land right in reform school along with him. And if there are any secrets about my doubloons... Oh, dear. Now what's the matter with him? Oh, my. Wait, I forgot the pick. Oh, 
dear. Here it is. Come on. No, wait. Look here. Now who's stalling? But this is a place where we fill in the dirt ourselves. Just a little while ago. I don't care what it is. Come on. Joe, a footprint. Just like those other ones we found. Yeah. Only Frank, this must have been made just since we got inside. Tomorrow's episode, Boys in Trouble.